shouldn't watch Casey Neistat as a content consumer and why you should watch him as a content creator. Yeah, that's right. If you want to get better as a vlogger or as a storyteller, you should really focus on how Casey tells stories and analyze everything he does in his videos instead of just watching him as a normal consumer. So guys, this is going to be me watching his videos, not like in a reactive more, but more of an analytical hmm. approach, trying to figure out little tidbits that I can get from Casey's vlogs that will help me make a better story. So if you guys are interested, take a look at this. All right, so let's watch the first 30 seconds and really break down what's going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, sorry. You know, I wanted to make a video outside, but it's just too gloomy out there today. Instead... Okay, <laughs> that already got me drawn in. It's definitely like a 360 camera or something because you can do post editing in 360 cameras, I think he's got. But what I'm watching is his hands and I'm like, I'm not seeing him actually hold the stick. So I'm, I'm, he's got me tripped out on that part. He's bringing us into the world. He's bringing us into the story with this zoom. We're zooming in. And then of course that amazing cut from the inside to him closing the window, right? You know, I wanted to make a video outside, but it's just too gloomy out there today. Instead, instead, I need to talk about this studio. Boom. All right, 10 seconds, not even 20 seconds in. How many cuts did he just make right there? So we had a, the initial coming in. All right, we're at 13 seconds, and then he cuts in this, to this where he comes in and does his little talking head stuff, which is a very cool cut there, right? It's so effective. Instead, Instead, I need to talk about this studio. So, nine cuts right off the bat, nine straight cuts, 23 seconds in, about 11 cuts almost right off, 11 cuts in 24 seconds, right? Okay, that's, that's pretty intense, that's pretty crazy, right? And then even a subtle thing here, listen to the music cue here. Even the light switch there, the way he cuts that is in sync, guys. Little stuff like this is subtle that you just, it's just so pleasing. Studio. To the beat. So since moving back to New York City, this, uh, this is my current studio setup. This is about uh, 13 and a half feet by uh, 19 feet. Okay. Mad angles, mad use of angles here. And this is one thing that people were talking about in his course that he talks about, I guess their first lesson, they have to use a cell phone because it forces you not to use cameras and not to focus on equipment and gear, but to use a cell phone because it focuses you, makes you focus on angles, right? And that's cool. It's so true. I've learned that just from using my cell phone, like angles are more important than the focus and depth of field and all that crap because the phone could be put in so many more places where a camera couldn't be put. You can get more creative with your angles. And let's look, look at these. Let's go back and, and break down some of these angles here that he just did. So since moving back to New York City, this uh, this is my okay, straight eye level camera there. Current studio setup. <laughs> Boom. Low angle, we're extreme low angle from the floor, a view we normally don't look at unless you're a baby because the babies are always laying on the floor or crawling. They're, that's at their eye level, right? This is about a Boom, slight Dutch angle here. We're at a slight Dutch angle. You can see the angle of the, the frame here. That's a Dutch angle. And a half. Opposite Dutch angle of him going back up. It's like, so we're, we're looking up at a Dutch angle. Feet by. Another low angle, but this time the focus is on this. It looks like a, a plastic roach, right? Uh, 19 feet. That. And there was another roach. I don't know if you caught that other roach right there. There's another little one on the floor. Feet by. Uh, right there. 19 feet. That is. And this is a POV shot again here at the end. By, uh, POV. 19 feet. That is. 256 and a half square feet, which is, that's enough, but it's also, it's never enough. Okay. And we also know Casey always punches in on important things that he wants us to pay attention to. That's why he goes to those close-ups. Again, like he's just talking, he's talking. Six and a half square feet, which is, that's enough, but it's also, it's never enough. 
punch in on something that we really wants us to focus in on. <laughs> Another quick POV. That was like half a second of a shot. Like, also, it's never enough. <laughs> an insert of him POV of the tape measure coming back. Strictly, I think this was more of a cue to bring in the music. It, it felt like it hit the bring in the music. That's enough, but it's also, it's never enough. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. It was like almost a music cue to bring in that music there. So, I mean, little stuff like this, guys, that people don't pay attention to, but this is what makes Casey Casey, right? But it's also, it's never enough. All right, guys, so here's a couple of things that we probably can take from Casey and put into our videos. You can, might even notice a few that I've actually picked up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know down in the comments and I can make some more.